Come to the house of the Lord, for he calls us to him. If we all go to him, we shall get his own life. Come to me, O you who labor, and I will give you rest. Come to me, O you who test, and I will give you dream. Come to the house of the Lord, for he calls us to him. If we all go to him, we shall get his own life. All of us are sons of God, we have put our trust in him. Let us love one another, for our God, for our Lord God is love. Come to the house of the Lord, for he calls us to him. If we all go to him, we shall get his own life. We shall get his own life. We come to you, yes, O oh Lord. With a heart so full of joy, and together we want to say thank you. We come to you, yes, O oh Lord, with a heart so full of joy, and together we all would like to thank you. For this day that you gave us, we want to thank you. For the fruits of the earth, we want to thank you. And for the labor, the joys of life, we want to thank you. We come to you, yes, O oh Lord, with a heart so full of joy, and together we all would like to thank you. We come to you, yes, O oh Lord, with a heart so full of joy, and together we would like to thank you and together we would like to thank you one more time and together we would like to thank you oh my special lhm tribe me i don't know about you i have so much like this to thank god for hey yeah uh, Oh my goodness, today is the 18th of December and my sister, my baby sister, my my one and only baby sister, no, not one and only, but from the same mother, yes, my one and only, she turns one more year today and she is what I would call a miracle baby because she was a sick, she was sick, 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 sick for years and today she's healed, 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 healed and she's a medical doctor, oh, in the abroad. So I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> and then, yeah, hey, uh, tomorrow is my mother's own birthday. And then all the beautiful things the Lord has done for this 2022, I cannot even tell you all. He gave me an assignment. He said, stop asking me for things. First count all your blessings. Name them one by one. Pray for them. Finish and then come back to me. Have I been able to finish? No. So I cannot even go back to God with what I was asking him for. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh la 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 la. So today is a very special day for me. And yes, I am dressed like a queen. And um, I'm going to church today. The first time in Bonaberry to where my spirit is really leading me to first Sunday service. And so I'm also excited for that. And yeah, we are wrapping up um, the series on Esther today. And so I'm also excited on that because there's, there has been so much um, gleaning from the book of Esther, the story of Esther. And um, 
if there's one word I can use to sum up this whole book of Esther, it's favor. When God's favor is on you, whatever man is doing is not should not be your business because that's God does not even care about who is man. That God should even be bothered that if man does not like you, something will happen like to, to interrupt his divine assignment or divine uh, uh, fulfillment in your life and stuff like that. So let's start with the word of prayer. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just want to thank you today. Father, all I have in my heart really on these days, thank you. I don't even know what else to say to you apart from thank you today. Hey, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jehovah Rapha. I saw it in my sister's life without even knowing how much prayers work. But what I know is that I used to see my mother pray, 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 pray. And yes, it, it, it kind of seeped into me today and I just cannot live without prayer. And so I thank you for that. Papa, I just want to thank you even for my mom because without my mom, all of us wouldn't be here, Papa. And oh my goodness, the story is just too long. Is it even a coincidence that her own birthday is the very next day after my kid sister's own? Father, I thank you for that. I thank you for my sons, Papa. I thank you. I thank you because you've been teaching me so much to them. And you've given me so much to them. And it's all such a beautiful experience of love. I thank you for that. I thank you for all my friends. Those who've taught me bitter and good lessons in life. Those who are still with me on this journey. Uh, and those who are silent but then think of me and pray for me. I just want to say thank you for each and every one of them. And Papa, thank you because I know you do marvelous things in their lives too. Because... We all are more than conquerors through Christ who lives in us. We just have to let Christ live in us. Papa, I say thank you for that. Thank you for my family. Oh my goodness, such a big, big, big family. You know, my cousin was getting married yesterday and the whole family was mobilized. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you for all of that love and unity in my family. Thank you for my earthly father, Father God. I really just want to lift him into your hands in a special way today. I say, Father, have your way in his life. Thank you. Thank you for his conversion. Thank you for everything, Papa. Thank you. Thank you for Princess. Uh, I just love doing Bible studies with her. I thank you for her. Thank you for Jeff, Papa. Thank you. Such a beautiful soul. Thank you, Papa. I just want to say thank you for everything. You know it all. Thank you for my Bishop, Bishop Barry, Father. Ah, Father. Frankly speaking, you said you were going to give us a pastor. And for me, this is my pastor, and I'm just so grateful. You knew it all, and you just knew where to position me. And Father, I pray today that for all of us who will be going to worship you in fellowship, even be it in our homes, because you say where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in their midst, Father God, that you just take us and you, 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 you fill us up and you enable our hallelujah to get to you in such a beautiful way. And now we forget whatever it is going on in our lives at that particular moment. It's all about you, that you get the glory, Father God, and that you continue to increase as I decrease and as we all decrease. Because who are we, Lord? Who are we? So I just give you all the glory. I give you glory for this strife, Father God, growing. Ah, uh, Father, you, you, you set me on that path. So it's all your own, no, Papa. It's all your own. I only thank you for that. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness, Spirit of God in the clear running waters. Feeling it up, feeling me up, feeling me up. I'm blowing as you will. Just continue to blow in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, tribe. I hope everyone is good. Um, today is the 18th of December. I'll be going on the retreat on the 21st. And then on to Christmas. And after Christmas, I think we will have maybe one or one ministration again before um, the year wraps up. So let's see what we are getting in this book of Esther. I mean, frankly speaking, it's been so beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I can just visualize the queen, how she was um, very um, humble. She was submissive. She was polite. She was, because what else would make everybody just love her that way? And then the king 
like just want her to say whatever she wants and he keeps saying i'll give you even up to half of my kingdom what and even when he knew that esther was a jew that did not change his mind indeed as we are going to see today he just told her just continue whatever you want right anything all of that that can only be favor that can only be favor so now um Mordecai has been hung on the gallows that he had built to hung uh, no not Mordecai Haman Haman had been hung on the gallows that he had built to have Mordecai hung on oh my goodness Esther had obtained this big favor from the king but now they still need to get an official revocation of the previous decree or at least a new decree that supersedes that previous decree you know so in legal terms we can also call it an amendment but now what the king is going to do is not even going to amend the old decree he's just going to give them the permission blank check write whatever you want say whatever you want do whatever you want this is beautiful and it can only be bad favor so i'll just be jumping from the 8th to the 10th chapter um what's important there to see how much favor esther had and that means that she has such an anointing over her life because remember mordecai told her who knows if you were put in the palace for such a time as this in the end that is what it turned out to be so don't despise it she was an orphan she was raised uh, fostered by her uncle who thank god raised her up as his own you know and all of that and she was even taken to the, you know, amongst all those other veggies, like, who knows, she must have been terrified. And then she ended up being the one that was chosen queen. And then now she has these powers. She sancti she, she, she sanctifies herself. She, she fasts. She does all of that. She gets the people to do all of that. And then she goes to the king without being someone. And yet, she's not put to death. She's received and the king does what she wants. And now the king is like, whatever you want, my queen. Oh, 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 oh. So, on that day, the king gave to Queen Esther the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews, because now they know the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was to her. So, Esther had not yet told the king that Mordecai was her uncle. But remember, when Esther told the king about the plot that was uncovered against him, she told the king that it was Mordecai who had uncovered. But the king could have assumed that, well, since Mordecai sits at the gate, Mordecai can easily uncover or can eavesdrop on such plans and all of those things. She didn't tell the king that Mordecai was her uncle. But now she has told the king and so Mordecai comes before the king. So the king had already been pleased with Mordecai. Knowing now that Mordecai is his queen's uncle, you can imagine that means his in-law. So Mordecai will no more sit at the gate. No, you cannot allow your in-law to be sitting at the gate now. No way. So this is what the king does. The king takes off his signet ring, which he had taken from Haman, <laughs> and gave it to Mordecai. Can you imagine what your enemies are planning and what they have been honored with and stuff like that? All of it will be stripped away, given to you, and oh my goodness, God, God, God. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. You decide what we want to do with all of that lineage. Then Esther spoke again to the king. She fell at his feet and wept and pleaded to avert the evil plan of Haman that he had devised against the Jews. Oh, the king held out the golden scepter to Esther. Esther rose and stood before the king. So if you kneel down before the king, if he doesn't hold out, hold out the golden scepter, you don't stand. Esther, my goodness, what kind of a submissive woman is that? A very gentle woman and all kinds of things. And yes, she's queen and has such powers. And sometimes we are here, we don't even have no small authority, but we are making like that. Ha, huh? okay. So if it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and if the thing seems right before the king, and I am pleasing in his eyes, let an order be written to revoke. Aha, uh -huh, that's the word I use, revoke, right? Because I'm a lawyer. So once an order is there, the only way you can cancel it is writing another order to revoke it or making an amendment or all of those kind of things. So she says that 
Let an order be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the provinces of the king. Oh my goodness. Because he had been distributed all over. So just saying that uh, elevating us is not enough. We have to have the letter written and distributed in all the provinces, revoking that order. For how can I bear to see the calamity that is coming to my people? Or how can I bear to see the destruction of my kindred? No. So the king now knows. Esther is a Jew. Mordecai is her uncle. He loves them just like that. Oh, la, la. Behold, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and they have hanged him on the gallows, because he intended to lay hands on the Jews. But you may write as you please. We regard to the Jews in the name of the king, and seal it with the king's ring. Open, open, open authorization. Write anything. Write as you please. In the name of the king. Oh my goodness. Ha. Huh. For an edict written in the name of the king and seal with the king's ring cannot be revoked. Okay. So now he's not revoking the old one, but they're writing a new one that has firmer instructions. Wow. The king's scribes were summoned at that time. Okay, uh, an edict was written according to all that Mordecai commanded concerning the Jews to the satraps and the governors and the officials of the provinces from India to Ethiopia, 127 provinces. That's the territory of King Ahasuerus. To each province in its own script and to each people in its own language and also to the Jews in their script and their language. And he wrote in the name of the king and sealed it with the king's senior ring. Then he sent the letters by mounted couriers riding on swift horses that were used in the king's service, saying that the king allowed the Jews who were in every city to gather and defend their lives, to destroy, to kill, and to annihilate any armed force of any people or province that might attack them, children and women included, and to plunder their goods. Wow! Because in the in the previous um, order, the, the those people were just to kill the Jews, and there was nothing the Jews could do. After all, they were captives. So how dare they retaliate? If they even tried, they would have just killed them, wiped them off. But now that those people already know that hey, Haman is dead, he has been hung, and Mordecai has been honored and everything, would they even try to attack? Even if those others were left, who would try? The few malicious ones who try, they're, they're gone. So now Haman is making sure that the Jews know that you are no longer captives. You are free to defend yourself. You attack anyone who attacks you, don't spare any of them. Even their goods, do with them what you want. Wow. And that's how well the copy was written and issued as a decree in every province and publicly displayed to all the people. And the Jews were to be ready on that day to take vengeance on their enemies. And Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal robes of blue and white with a great golden crown and a robe of fine linen and purple. Wow. And the city of Susa shouted and rejoiced. Look at how much honor Esther is bringing to that uncle who brought her up. Never minimize the good you are doing to an orphan, to a widow, to an underprivileged. They might actually be the source of your elevation tomorrow or some other person, but God is watching. This is what I get from all of this. Oh my goodness. And the whole city is rejoicing now. And the Jews had light and gladness and joy and honor. Poor them who had been in sackcloth and ashes and fasting and all of that, so scared doing that they're just going to be killed in some time to come, though, now they are happy. Oh, la, la. And so they were gladdened with joy, and there was a feast and a holy day, and many from the people of the country declared themselves Jews <laughs> for fear of the Jews are falling on them. Okay, so they are not even going to wait, though. They are already like, no, 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 me too, I'm a Jew. I'm serving that your God. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows. Say not true. Oh. So everybody wants to join the Jews and serve their living God. They have seen. Wow. Okay, well, so you see how the Jews now gathered and um, 
on the ninth month, on the 13th day, because the decree, the second decree was written on the third month. Remember, they had planned this thing and then Haman had written that thing like in the first month of the year and they were supposed to kill them on the, on the 12th month, on the 13th day. And so on the third month of the year, when a new decree was written, they were like, okay, let's just wait. On the day that they were supposed to execute that first one, that's the day when we will also retaliate or defend ourselves. And that's what actually happened, right? On the very day when the enemies of the Jews hoped to gain the mastery over them, the reverse occurred. The Jews gained mastery over those who hated them. So there were still some who hated them. You know, there will always still be some people who hate you. But that doesn't matter, right? If God likes me, any other person, uh, just sort yourself out, you know. Me, I'm good. I rather have God's favor, God's love, God's everything than to have the words. Who is the world? No, nah, no, nah, it's no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah. no. So, no one could stand against them, for the fear of them had fallen on all peoples. And the officials of the provinces, and the satraps, and the governors, and the royal agents also helped the Jews. Oh my goodness. So, no one, the fear of the Jews has fallen over them, and now they are also being helped by the officials. So, that means that they are even having support of the administration, and the army, and all of that. So, those few enemies, who are they? How dare you? Oh, la, la. Yeah, Mordecai was great in the king's house, and his fame spread throughout all the provinces. For the man Mordecai grew more and more powerful. The Jews struck all their enemies with a sword, killing and destroying them, and did as they pleased to those who hated them. You hate somebody, uh, okay, oh, God of vengeance, so... He can pass through his people. He can send down fire directly. He can do whatever. Why are you hating somebody? We are all pilgrims on this world. We are all passing. Why? Why? Even if somebody is highly favored and anointed, don't hate them. Pray for them. Do you know when your own is coming? Okay. Oh. So we are told about uh, the numbers that the Jews killed and all of that. And um, oh my goodness. It was such a sad, sad sin. And the ten sons of Haman, oh my goodness, they were hung also. So not only Haman, see, Haman's weakness has affected everybody. That's terrible. Be very careful. Just like your favor can affect everybody, your wickedness, your wicked deed, your wicked thoughts, your wicked actions, yes, plans, all of that can also affect so many people. And then uh, the king says again, What is your wish? It shall be granted you. And what further is your request? It shall be fulfilled. Wow. Wow. Because the king is now having a report of what is happening. And the king is wondering, Is that all what you want to do? And so he keeps asking Esther. And Esther says, If it please the king, let the Jews who are in Susa be allowed tomorrow also to do according to this day's edict. And let the ten sons of Haman be hung on the gallows. Okay. Yeah. And the king commanded that this should be done. Oh la la. So the Jews in Susa did what all, all, those all over the place had done. Oh la 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 la. In short, they killed and just, they didn't even care about to plunder the goods of those people. What are you doing with material, material things? Cargo, as we call it, vanity of vanities. See, Solomon, that great Solomon, at the end of his life, he realized all of that doesn't matter. So, we better learn from Solomon. Uh, me, I am just so detached. Like, somebody can even say, I want this jersey, Papa, take, or Mommy, take. No, 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 no. What, what am I going to do with any of these things when I close my eyes? Nothing. And how many beds can I sleep up? How many cars can I do? How many all of those things? Nada. So the best thing to do is live a very detached life. And don't even covet another person's thing. If they even give you, what will you do with it? Can you, can you maintain it? All of that. Because it's not just about house. It's about maintaining the house. It's not just about car. It's about foiling that car. It's about servicing the car and all of those things. So, um, when all of that was done... The Jews of the villages and, and all of that, they held the 14th day of the month of Adar 
as a day for gladness and feasting, as a holy day, and as a day on which they send gifts of food to one another. Oh, communion of spirit. Wow, wow, wow. And that is how the Feast of Purim was inaugurated. Because Mordecai recorded all these things and then sent letters to the Jews and said, um, we have to always remember this year after year. That is how their history was transmitted. All the good things that the Lord has done for them, they had to. So um, the Jews accepted and then they decided to um, commemorate, to, to, to put it down, make it into a holiday, saying that you've turned our sorrow into gladness and our mourning into a holiday. So they have to make days of feasting and gladness. You know these people, they know how to celebrate. So it's not going to be one day thing, it's going to be maybe two or three days. Oh la la. And when he came before the king, he gave others in writing. Okay, yes, the Mordecai just recounting all what happened. So they call these days the days of period after the temper. Really? Because of all that was written in this letter, and of what they had faced in this matter, and of what had happened to them, the Jews firmly obligated themselves and their offspring, and all who joined them, that without fail they would keep these two days according to what was written, and at the time appointed every year, that this day should be remembered and kept throughout every generation. And Mordecai and the Esther, of course, they grew in stature and in love and in the favor and in all of those things. And that is how Mordecai became so great and great and great. Now, the last chapter talks to us about how the king imposed tax on the land and on the coastlands of the sea. And all the acts of his power and might and the full account of the high honor of Mordecai to which the king advanced him. Oh my goodness. They are written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Media and Persia. Can you imagine? For Mordecai the Jew was second in rank to, to King Ahasuerus, and he was great among the Jews and popular with the multitude of his brothers. For he sought the welfare of his people and spoke peace to all his people. Amen. Oh la la. It's good to be a God fearing person. That's how. Evil that was planned for Joseph, God turned it around, and Joseph also ended up becoming the first foreigner to be governor in Egypt. That's how Daniel, who was a captive too, around the same time, they sought all kinds of things, plotted, threw him in the lions, then nada. He was elevated, elevated. This is Mordecai. So you know this song? Let's wrap up with this song. What the enemy planned for evil, God has turned it around, turned it around. What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for my good. Put your name there. What the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around, turn it around. What the enemy means for evil, God will turn it around for your good, for our good. It is a good thing to set your eyes on Jesus on the cross. Make him your personal Lord and Savior. Make him your bestie, bestie. Allow him to have his way in your life, you know, because if God is for you, who can be against you? So that is where you want to start. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all those other things. That's what Mordecai did. And that's how he was able to raise up Esther in all of these ways of the Lord. And even if the name of God is not mentioned once in this book, you see God being alive in their lives. Because praying and fasting to who else? They are Jews. So they only know about the God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The God who led Moses to part the Red Sea, the God who parted the Red Sea, who, who um, enabled Moses to lead the people out of Egypt. Moses the stammerer. 
Oh my goodness, Moses the murderer, Moses the what? So don't joke, oh. don't joke. Better be you on the Lord's side. Who is on the Lord's side? I want to know. I am on the Lord's side. Father, thank you so much. I really just want to be on your side. And I know that I'm not the only one. And so I pray for all of us who are on your side today. Father, that we keep learning and keep being assured and reassured of what happens to those who are on your side. And what happens to those who, are, who plot evil against your children. Oh, Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for everything, Papa. Thank you because you are being glorified through it all. And I continue to just give you all the praise and the honor and the worship and the adoration because you deserve it. You've made all things beautiful and you've given us this new day. May it be lived for you. May I go and worship in fellowship, just thanking you for just so, so much, Father God. Continue to keep us safe, Father God. Protect us, Father God. Provide for us, you are our Jehovah Jireh. There's no like you, Father. There is no like you. Continue to fill us up with your gates, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Most High God. Continue to lead us. Continue to invite us to yourself, oh Jesus. You tell us, Father. You tell us, come to me, oh you who are weary and heavy laden, oh you who labor. Let's bring all of this to the feet of the cross and lay it there. Jesus already paid the price for us. What are we laboring for again? Why can't we just co commend it all to him each time, just as they all come? Yes, because trials and tribulations, are enemies all over the place. But no, they can never be more than God. Father, I just want to give you all the glory. I do all of this so that you be seen and seen and seen. You be elevated. You continue to increase, Papa. Receive my worship. Receive my praise, Papa. You are Yahweh. 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 As far and Omega, you are Yahweh. As far and Omega, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning, Amen. Oh, try have a wonderful and serene and special Sunday. Special, special, special. Say what a prayer for my sister. Give thanks to God for His good and His mercies endure it forever. Tomorrow I'm going to do morning devotion. And then, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. God is good all the time and all the time. He is very, 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 very good. Amen.